pretty miserable out. There's been a lot of storms, tropical storms coming up the east coast. I know um, the south was hit, I believe, yesterday and the day before, and it's coming up here today into tonight. It's going to rain. So I might have an hour, I may have two hours, I'm not sure yet. I'm really just watching the fish finder here, especially trying to follow the steps. The tide's out, but it's starting to come in now, so slowly but surely. So I just got to navigate this water correctly so I don't hit a sandbar or hit a shallow skinny patch here and get stuck, which I have in the past. Um, this is Wild Creek, and I'm going to do some flounder jigging. I did bring some bait just in case if I get bored. Um, or if the flounder bite's not here, then I'll just jump fish and um, just have some fun for about an hour or two, hopefully. And then go home. I'm probably going to get wet, which I'm um, kind of made my peace with, and I'm fine with that at this point. As long as I don't get hit with lightning, um, I'll be alright. So, this is the plan. I'm going to jig a little bit. I brought two rods. I brought the pen battle. Which same gear I had last time I was out here, it did okay. I mean, I didn't catch any keepers, which is typical for down here. Also, have the St. Croix with the pen fierce reel, uh, 20 pound braid, and I think I have 30 pound on the pen um, with 30 pound leaders hooked up to them. Um, I have a little bottom sweeper on the pen. I'll probably throw some shrimp, I'm sorry, some clam or some um, um, squid on that if I get bored. And on the St. Croix, I'm just going to throw some, some white or pink and chartreuse gulp on what I have left. And I'm just going to jig it. I'm going to probably get a right start here. The fish finder looks pretty good. It's about 10 feet deep. And this is a spot where I usually fish. And it's more of a sandy bottom here compared to the grass. So I'm going to start kind of quick here because I don't know how much time I'm going to have. All right, so, so let's go. So I'm going to start with some white gulp. And I'm going to throw some... Um, some shrimp juice on it uh, and I'm going to maneuver back over to my left over here find these holes I'm going to really use the fish finder as usual uh, I don't like this spot so I'm going to go over a little bit got real gracie here so I know there's holes like over here to the right I still know because the tide's out how good they're going to be so or how deep they're going to be right now or if I might hit like um, a sandbar or not or real skinny water so let's follow the fish finder here this is why we have it I'm not really look, looking for a fish activity I'm more looking for depth and drop offs and that's where I seem to have the most luck um, I mean you can fish points and they usually work for flounder but here it seems like uh, I really have more luck with the little drop-offs. So let's we'll throw it out here. Tide is coming in. And the wind's going with the tide again. Which I think it's a good thing, personally, but So it's pushing me out into this bay. So what I'll do, I'll turn around and go back and just let the current take me. About 10 feet of water here. I'm getting turned around a little bit. So try not to. This bay actually gets really, really shallow, so I'm going to try not to go out into the bay too much. I'm going to go in reverse here. I kind of want to stay. I don't know if 
fish on. Yep, I do. I don't know if it stayed on though. Damn it, it got off. All right, it was probably just a black sea bass, but it felt like a nicer one. A lot of birds out here. I'm gonna have these little black sea bass. Which I'm fine with catching, but I'm here for, I would like to try to catch at least one or two keeper flounder if possible. It's gonna be right in front of me here. But the, it's really dark. As you can see, it's kind of eerie out here. I don't know how much time I'm really gonna have before I get hit with a storm. see the big sandbars out in the middle of the bay here. This bay empties out on those. All right, I got something on it. Oh yeah, got a nice fish. Ah, it's a little flounder. All right, it's not bad. Started the day. I don't care if he drops off, honestly. He's small. Then I got stuck on a little sandbar, so let me turn around here. So I'm in about 10 feet of water here, which is perfect. Um, it's not as as gracey. I see some activity on fish finder. So I'm just kind of going to drift over and then let the current take me over the top of this hole. I'm just going to jig right here. really moving fast out to the bay where it's shallow so I gotta be careful I don't want to get stuck again I should have videoed that had they actually get out of the kayak it's probably see some mud on my legs and pad on this kayak is not good for paddling especially in real skinny water it's just especially when you're geared up I guess it's just too heavy I literally had to get out and walk like 10 feet to get to be you know two feet of water that's how it literally drops from six feet to a foot in a, in a second this spot is producing fish. Even it's a high-pressured spot. Uh, I'm catching fish; they're just not big, which is typical, <laughs> um, and that's the way it works sometimes, especially in high-pressured area. I think a lot of the big flounder here, especially in New Jersey, and probably a lot of places where it's high pressure, I think they go out in the deeper water, out to the ocean. I know a lot of people out there are catching a lot of keepers. Not many people are catching keepers in shore, at least not that I'm here. I mean, I'm sure if you, honestly, with a kayak, you probably have a better chance if you get to some of these smaller creeks um you might have a better chance but uh you know if this is the spot i go and this is you know there are some creeks here but the, with the tide out though with this kayak it's not really worth it i mean it's too big and too heavy you know when you get stuck you can't really paddle out unfortunately like i would like all right let's throw this guy back out tighten the dragon oh, this, uh, not too much. that's good 
All right, we're about 10 and a half feet of water again here. All right, it's starting to rain. I don't know what time I have. And uh, I just put a new jig head on. Put some shrimp juice on the white gulp. Put eight feet of water here. So far, I just caught two shorts. There's no lightning yet, so I'm not panicking too much. All right, fish on. Let's put another small sand there. I don't know, well, tiny black sea base. I hope he didn't eat that. No, he didn't. Well, he's kind of travel hooked, actually. on it. Let's go back over to the hole. I gotta really work with this car because I got stuck on a couple of sandbars. Alright, just drop it right here. Seems like the white gulp seems to be the ticket. I might throw another piece of gold on this, I'm not feeling even of it. Oh, there we go. Oop, got off. like the spots Gracie but the tide's so f low right now even though the high tide's supposed to be coming in but this is brutal on the rain to kick it's not kicking now too so I might get some grass on here unfortunately but it's about seven feet deep eight feet deep here which is deep for here right now oh. this is kind of like black sea bass turf here with this grass that and seaweed Drift back with the current. Oh, it's got bit. These black sea bass here are like the uh, the pin fishing when I fish in North Carolina. There's like piranhas. They just take take your bait. That's why I'm not throwing any cut bait right now. All right, I got a fish on. It's not big. It's a little, not a little flounder, man. King of the small flounder today. Jesus. Let's get him off. I'm sorry, bud. Let me get you off. Get you back in the water. I know, I know. He's actually not as bad as the other one. But my gulp. I've seen better days. Measure him anyway, just for fun. He's probably not 13, 12, 13. These guys are really small here today. I know, I know, I know, I know. He's just over 12. All right, let's get him back in. Here, about 10 feet of water here.
running with it. I really don't want them to swat unless they're big, though. Alright, I got a fish on it. Doesn't feel big, though. Well, it's a little bigger. He's swallowing it, though. Let's get the hook out, then we'll measure him. If it comes down. He's definitely not a keeper, though, here. Unfortunately. So you can see the fish behind here. This little drop off here, and that's what I'm kind of following here. These little ledges. So that's what I'm doing right now. Alright, let's set back up. See the rain's really starting to come down a little harder now. I'm gonna start getting ready to head back. I'm gonna cast like one or two more times. Drift and then I'm gonna start fishing my way back to the to the ramp. Like I said, there's a tropical storm coming in. The water's pretty calm though. Um, not a lot of wind. It's starting to pick up a tiny bit, but the water's pretty flat. Right, I think I got fish on or I'm snagged. Or it's a big clump of seaweed. I'm kind of thinking seaweed. I hope it's not a sting right. It is, I'm just cutting my line because I'm not dealing with that right now in this one. Oh, whatever it was, it got off. I think it was a stingray. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the day I'm done. He's starting to pick up. Um heading back to the ramp. Cut, cut this out short. 